I painted Osama bin Laden right after 9-11 and I got chased through Little Italy and, and then I had Homeland Security called on me and I almost had to like get, I, it was really bad. My parents were both immigrants that met in New York but they still had ties to their country so I was back and forth a lot. Wherever I went, I felt kind of outcast. I just wrote my name to feel like I was a part of the place because I was always foreign. Joel's in the trouble for painting. I would ride it the whole way to school because school was the hardest for me. Like going to school, like I felt like, because <gasps> people were so mean to me there. So I had to like really like bolster myself to get through it. And so it became a thing. And and I got introduced to this graffiti culture, even kind of, kind of without knowing what I was doing. I got in with like these crews in the Bronx. I guess I've been writing my name around a lot. And people were like, "Oh, Muck is like this huge black dude." And it was kind of funny. And that was my favorite thing. Like graffiti like had this thing where you could be like the, the garbage man, but you're also like king of the fucking two of the five line while you're like just, you know, an average Joe really in real life. I kind of drifted away from that part of it. My friend got shot and killed and he was like the head of our crew and he got shot and killed in front of the whole crew. You know, we all have real enemies, the people that don't want any art. And we all, uh, are kind of played by them to be against each other instead of like these people that are oppressing artists in general you know like there's like people that paint over everything gray why are we not just go after them like why are you going after each other if you know of anything that needs to get painted let me know <laughs>